Okay, I'm going to take you on a little tour of my new Ream hybrid water heater. Uh, this is the control panel on it. Let's um, see if I can get it to focus here. Um, anyway, uh, if you could read what it says there, it has uh, the Wi-Fi connection, which is the blue light on the right-hand side. Uh, so it is connected to my uh, home Wi-Fi, and then you can be anywhere with your phone and, and change settings on your water heater. Like if you were on vacation, you're on your way home, you want to turn the water heater back uh, to normal usage and everything. You can also check and see what your usage is, so um, day to day you can check that. Um, I, I will uh, show the app on that in a minute here, but this is the outlet where the uh, cold air blows out, so it's like an air conditioner, but uh, on the top right here is where the air goes in and it dehumidifies the air and it goes, the, the moisture from the dehumidifi de dehumidifier goes out right here. And I don't have this completely set up right yet. I, I need to have a uh, trap in that and I get a, get a trap that goes so that it dumps into my septic system so I don't have to carry the water out all the time. Because it's taking about a gallon of water or more a day out. And uh, while we're right here, I'm going to go up to the pipes here and check out. I don't know if you've ever seen shark bite connection, connections before, but there's no reason these things should work, but they work amazing. Um, all you do is clean up the pipe, slide it up on there, and that's it. Nothing else. No tools. Nothing. And this is the same on the uh, PEX end of it. This is PEX pipe here, so it's plastic pipe. Um, so I've got my shutoffs you know, for hot and cold. And uh, the, only, the biggest problem is that the engineer was uh, on drugs when he designed this thing, or uh, drunk, or something, because Instead of putting it so you can have your control panel showing and have your plumbing out of the way, the plumbing goes all around the thing. See, it's not even, I mean, a couple of versions ago, it went straight down, so the cold and hot were straight down. But look at how the cold water spirals around the water heater down to this side. And they decided, oh, well, let's take the, uh, the handle off on the right side here. That's for, for draining the water heater. So you have to use a tool to do that rather than just turning a faucet handle like you've always done for a million years. And one other thing I'd like to say is put handles on the damn thing. It's just so difficult to move around when you're trying to move it precisely just a little bit and rotate it and get it into position or pick it up over the pan, the overflow pan that's on the bottom when you need to pick that up without destroying it, especially when you're doing it by yourself. It weighs 300 pounds, and I got it down into the cellar by myself without putting a scratch on it, so I was very meticulous about that. But So anyway, back to it. So the hot water outlet is right here, cold water inlet down there, and it has the normal access panel for the regular uh, resistance heat here same here the, the lower resistance heat element panel uh, but you don't need to use those if you don't want to right now the water I mean the air temperature in my cellar is 62 degrees and it is taking heat out of that 62 degrees I mean the whole concept of heat pump is just amazing but it's taking heat out of that and heating it up to 140 degrees without using the resistance elements at all so that's kind of cool um, there is a uh, uh, saver mode on the thing that makes it a little better for some situations when you do have it used in the heating elements. Um, but right now I'm just playing around with seeing what, it, seeing what it's like um, in heat pump mode because it's drying out my cellar like crazy too and I love that. So turn on my app here. Give me a second. Okay so this is the app that shows you your usage and it has you know depending on whether you have it showing by month day, week, or year, um, the lighter green color where, the, where it's square, those are all the current day or week or month, and the ones with the dotted lines and the darker green dots is uh, yesterday's or last week's or last year's or last month's. So then it has, I gotta go to another screen here so I gotta change this for a second. So, this is the uh, setup screen, 
Um, this is actually showing that it's running, the compressor is running because it's in the heat pump mode. And uh, if you look here on water availability, it shows it's in the red. Well, that's because I just did laundry and just took a shower and been using the water. Just, I, I'm just doing this to see how quickly the compressor, you know, the heat pump catches up. And obviously when you're doing all that stuff, it doesn't catch up, but it had plenty of hot water to fill the washing machine with hot water the first time, and now it's, it's heating it back up. But I could hit the button and just make it, uh, you know, catch up immediately if I wanted to. But anyway, let me back up here again. So you can set a schedule, like if you were going on vacation or something, you can set a schedule and have it in different modes for different times, or, or for even days of the week, you know, like days when you're doing laundry, etc. You can have it set the schedule for that too. Um, so you can also check the compressor health and the element health. And if you have uh, the shutoff, there's an automatic shutoff you can have too, so that if your water heater sprung a leak, it would shut not only the water heater off, but it shuts the water off so that you wouldn't have water leaking out everywhere. So, anyway, all this other noise you hear is my washing machine going in the background, but um, it's a really expensive water heater, but According to the specs on my old water heater, this one is five and a half times more efficient than my old one. And they advertise it right now as being four times more efficient than a, than a current uh, um, resistance heating water heater. So, or gas heater as well. So, um, quite efficient. It cost $200 more by the time I got it than it did by the time I wanted to get it. it. You know, they went up on the price twice and I was waiting for the instant rebate to kick in, which is $750 at the counter. So it's kind of, you know, worth waiting for. Otherwise, you have to spend all the money and then you wait for them to send your money back to you, which I didn't have that uh, option. So anyway, it was $1,529. You get a $750 discount at the counter, and then you get another $300 discount uh, when you file your taxes. So you actually get $1,050 discount on buying it. It would have been like $299, you know, to uh, have the thing or something like that, and then it ends up being $499 or whatever. But uh, it'll pay for itself in a very short time. So that's why I took ice cold 37 degree showers for almost seven months just so I could get this thing. So there it is.